Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. Are you a regular user of Microsoft tools? Have you ever wanted to give Microsoft feedback on their software to help them improve it? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Feedback Hub to give feedback directly to Microsoft. Let's check it out. All right, so first of all, you need to know that the Feedback Hub is built right into Windows 11. So you can come down and search for Feedback Hub to find the app, or you can press the Windows key plus F to open it up. All right, when it opens up, you're going to see first a search bar where you can begin typing in your problem or the feature you would like to suggest. Now you'll notice down here that it says sign in to get the full experience of the Feedback Hub. I highly recommend signing in so that you can track the suggestions or problems that you report and you can also upvote other suggestions that people have submitted. I'm going to go ahead and sign in and we'll look at that. All right, so here I am all signed in and I'm going to go ahead and suggest a feature. This one has to do with Microsoft Teams for home or personal use. And I would like the Teams for home app to have the same features as the Teams version for work or school. Go ahead and hit enter. All right, so here we can already see similar feedback. So at the very top, we see all feedback and then we see my feedback. So I'm going to go through here and see if someone has already suggested this. And if they have, I can upvote it instead of starting a whole new suggestion. And I'm not seeing it there. So I'm going to go ahead and click the button here to give new feedback. All right. And in here, I'll provide more details. All right, and I'll click next. We can see here that the category has been chosen for me. It is an app and it is Microsoft Teams work or school, but in this case, it's the Microsoft Teams for home. So I will select this one here. And this is a suggestion. And we'll click next. And of course, this is new feedback because we didn't see it earlier in the list. And next. And here, of course, we have the option to attach the screenshots, etc. I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. All right, and that is done. Now, when I come back to the Feedback Hub, because I'm signed in, I can click on My Feedback, and I can see my existing suggestion here that I just submitted. And over time, I can come back in here and check on it see if it has any comments, see if there's some upvotes, if other people in the community agree with me. And I can also add my own comments if I want to provide some additional detail. And because I am signed in, I can upvote these other suggestions. So say I wanted to look up feedback regarding Teams, I can come up here, type in Teams, search, and we can see the different suggestions. Here's a suggestion to add features from the old teams to the new teams, such as being able to change and see your status from the taskbar. This is something that I could also upvote if I agree with it. All right, and so that is how you utilize the Feedback Hub in Windows 11. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you wanna see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. It doesn't cost you anything to do this and it will help me keep my channel going. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.